Hello, juniors and families. This is Mr. Murphy from the Counseling Department. Hopefully you had the opportunity to watch Mr. Palmasani's video that outlines the entire college search and selection process. I will now take you to the next portion of the presentation, and we're going to look at the technology aspect. So specifically, we're going to look at the Naviance software. How can I utilize the Naviance software to help me through this exploration phase? And what I mean by that is, Mr. Palmasani talked about developing lists of schools or trying to narrow in your this, this massive college landscape. Well, you can use the Naviance software to do that. Now, how many schools should I find? Okay, we, we talk about this number 10, right? Try to find 10 schools that you might want to apply to. However, early in this, in this journey, um, and, and this is considered early, uh, midway through junior year, uh, you're not going to want to limit yourself. You know, maybe you develop a list of 20, 25, 30 colleges um, that you have an interest in. As you move through this, as you get closer to senior year, you're going to find, you know, what it is I'm looking for. Maybe I, I like this campus versus this type of campus, um, you know, the size of the school. You start comparing one academic program to the other, and you're going to start narrowing that list. And hopefully by the time senior year rolls around, you've now gone from a list of maybe 30 schools to six, eight, 10, 12, whatever it is um, that you're ready to apply to. And that's the idea here. So I want to show you these tools and how to navigate them and how you can really use them to help develop these lists. So up at the top, um, you're going to go ahead and go to the colleges tab and go to colleges home. And over on the left hand side, you see find your fit. So here are a couple um, college search uh, tools, search filters. Um, one is called the Supermatch. One is called the Advanced College Search. So for our purposes today, let's go ahead and choose the Supermatch. Now I've already done this just for sake of time. I, I've uh, you know you see across the top of the screen there there's a series of filters or criteria that students can put information in. So you know location. Does the student want to commute? Do they want to stay close to home? Are they willing to travel? Go south east, whatever it is, you can put that in. The academic aspect is where you're going to choose the the program or the major that they're interested in. And maybe you, you don't know that yet. Um, some students have already, you know, hey, I want to do engineering, I want to do nursing or physical therapy. That's great. But for a lot of students are undecided and, and that's okay too. Um, admissions, here they're going to put in your, your GPA. Test score, now a lot of you haven't taken a, a, a test yet, an ACT, um, so you can estimate and, and play around with this. Um, you know, what if I get this score? How does that change the schools that maybe, you know, are an academic fit for me? If I can boost it a couple points, you know, what other schools potentially become available to me from an admission standpoint? Um, and you also have to look at this idea of test optional where, um, you know, schools aren't, aren't requiring test scores, you may not need to submit one. Um, so there's a lot of different aspects you can put in here. I would, I would, you know, recommend that you do this multiple times. Maybe you put in different criteria, different information um, to try to find the, the right schools for you. So once you fill out the filters um, down at the bottom, you're going to start developing this list of schools. So this will change based on what you put into the criteria. And you can see um, I've already highlighted a few schools for us. So anytime you find a school you like, you can favorite that school and it'll save it to a list. What you can also do is pin the school. And what happens when you pin it is it puts it in this list at the top of the screen and you can actually compare all these schools you're interested in. So I've, I've chosen five schools off my list. Okay, here are five schools maybe I have interest in. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start doing some research into these. So down at the bottom of the screen, after you pin a school, you can select this button and say compare. So when I do that, I get my list and it's going to have the schools across the top with some different academic, social aspects, um, criteria that you, that you, you know, compare one to the next. So, you know, what's the average ACT? What's the average uh, GPA at these schools? Um, how many majors do they have? If we scroll down, athletics, 
cost. And, and we'll talk more about this. Mr. Palmasani highlighted this. Um, a lot of these are sticker prices. So you have to be um, you know, aware of that. Sometimes this isn't a good way to compare one school financially to the next. Because some schools obviously are going to give more academic money, merit packages, um, and, and really drives those, those prices down. Okay, so once you find a school you're interested in, so let's say, for example, all right, I want to look into Marquette. If I go ahead and choose Marquette, it's going to bring me to the profile page. And this is where you can find all the data and information that's important to students. So every school in Naviance um, has a profile page. And here's what this will look like. So when you go to the profile, you get some videos and pictures. But when you scroll down, you start getting some information. So things like the graduation rate, acceptance rate, um, counselor comments. So anytime a college rep comes and visits Providence, which they come through in the fall, we'll have about 60, 70 college reps come through um, and meet with our students. And anytime they come, we will interview that rep and we take that information and we put it in here. So this is directly from the college rep. Obviously not every school is gonna have comments here, just the schools that come and visit Providence. So typically our top you know, 50, 60 schools are, are, are gonna have information here, okay? If you scroll down, you again, get a lot of information here. You get the average GPA, ACT score. Um, and then down at the bottom, if you wanna co contact the college rep under the communication tab, it'll take you directly to that rep's email, phone number, um, if we have a specific college rep. If not, you can always just contact the admissions office right from here. Across the top of the screen, um, here's how you search through the profile so if we go to studies here's where you have the student faculty ratio average classroom size student retention rate you know that might be something you want to pay attention to this usually speaks to the culture of the school so what this talks about is are students returning for sophomore year so 87 percent for a mid-sized private like marquette is really good um you know, Marquette, we know our, our students who go there really end up liking the school. Um, so, you know, you're above 83, 84%. That's usually pretty good. Now you find a school that's below 80%. Let's say it comes in at 78% student retention. Don't just write the school off, but when you meet with a college rep or you go on a visit, maybe those are questions that you wanna ask. Hey, I saw your retention rate was 78%. Can you tell me why students aren't returning for sophomore year? Um, and like I said, sometimes that speaks to the culture of the school. You know, kids just aren't, aren't doing well there, um, whether it's academically, socially, but that'll help you answer some of those questions. Um, if you scroll down, it says top areas of study. Here's what the school highlights as their top majors or top programs. So if the program you're looking for is not in there, it doesn't mean it's a bad program. It just means it's not one of their larger ones. Um, so take take from it what you will, uh, but sometimes that's helpful in trying to find, all right, schools that offer engineering, schools that offer business and so forth. You can also look through all their majors. So if I'm looking for a bachelor's degree, you can find all their majors, you can switch it to minors. Maybe I want a minor in something um, and that's important to me. Uh, if you go to the top under student life, this is where it's gonna talk about obviously the, the size of the school, percentage of students who live on campus. Now you may look at these numbers, some might be a lot lower than this. Um, remember, upperclassmen tend to not live on campus. Some schools will require students to live on campus freshman year. Some say you have to live on campus freshman and sophomore year. So that makes a difference in these numbers. But again, these are questions you may wanna ask when you go on college visits or when you meet with a college rep at a, at, at a college fair or at Providence. Um, ethnic makeup, gender, you know, different things that, that students might wanna know. Um, here's something that's helpful, student organizations and services. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm interested in band, okay? Or maybe I'm interested in Greek life, right? So do they have Greek life? Um, ROTC, different um, academic services that are available. 
So that information is highlighted here. And if you find something that you want to do a little more research on, that's where you tend to go. All right, let me go look at, at Marquette's website and find more information about this. Uh, under the admissions tab. So this is probably the most helpful tool on Naviance. So when you go to the admissions tab, you're going to scroll down. And here is our history from Providence going back to 2016. So each year, it's going to tell you how many students from Providence applied to Marquette and how many were accepted. So you can see our acceptance rate is, is pretty good at Marquette. They tend to like Providence students. They seek them out. <clears throat> you know, Providence students um, um, tend to do well when they get to colleges. And, and these colleges recognize that. They're tracking where kids are coming from. So that is why our acceptance rates and our dollar amounts, when you talk about merit packages, are so high. Um, it's because this this history of, of Providence students doing well when they go to college. If you scroll down, you get to what's called a scattergram, and this is what it looks like. So here is our data. So any school you're interested in is going to have a scattergram. And scattergrams using an ACT score and a GPA of former Providence students. And it's charting it on a graph. So it tells you, you know, if it, with this GPA and this ACT, this student was accepted or this student was denied. And so what you're doing is you're actually comparing yourself to former Providence students. I can now chart myself on a graph. Now, you may not have a test score yet, or, or you know, maybe you, maybe you elect not to send a test score next year to colleges based on what it comes in at. But you might just want to estimate, okay, what if I get a 23? What if I get a 25? What if I get a 27? And so forth. And where do I fall on this chart? So the more, the more popular the school uh, for Providence kids, the more data points you're going to have here. Obviously, you pick some you know random school in Wyoming. There's probably not going to be any data points for you to compare yourself to. But I find this to be very helpful for determining is this school an academic fit? Am I likely to be admitted? Uh, is this a reach for me? That's where you can find this information. So you don't have to compare yourself to national numbers because I can tell you that our acceptance rates, our numbers are much much better than what the national averages is, averages okay and then at the top of the screen there's costs um you got to be careful with this because again this is sticker price i would use the the net price calculators that mr palmasani talked about and you know if if you really like this school keep it on your list and then go to the go to the next school find another school's profile page and, and do the same thing all right so if you go back to the colleges tab um couple other tools that are helpful. So the scattergrams, that's what I just showed you, but instead of going through the, the, the profile page, you can just select scattergrams and select any school that we have an application at. So it brings you right to that. Uh, so like Bradley University, 170 applications over the last, you know, however many years, seven, eight years. Um, here's the scattergram for Bradley. It's an easier way just to get to the screen, okay? Um, and really, that that's the, the find your fit aspect. Over on the right-hand side, we have research components. So if you know the schools you're looking for, you don't have to go directly to the super match or the college search. You can just go ahead and find the schools that you, you're, you're interested in and start comparing them. Um, college maps. If you go to college maps, this is a listing of schools based on different different programs. So, for example... If I'm really interested in engineering, if I select engineering, this is a list that we have created for you. And these are not obviously all the engineering schools in the country. This is just a list of some of the more popular colleges that our students have applied to if they're interested in engineering. So if you just click a school, it'll bring you right to that profile page that I showed you where you can start comparing one data point to the next, okay? And really, that's how you use the software. There's other tools in here, um, obviously, that students have been shown when they were freshmen, sophomores, as it relates to, you know, looking up different careers and career exploration. You can go back and do those. Uh, but I would really, you know, focus in on this screen. Try to create lists of colleges um, that you're, you're interested in. And as you move through this uh, journey, you're going to start eliminating those colleges and, and really narrow in on a list that you're ready to apply to come senior year. 
And if you have any questions, any concerns uh, about the program, feel free to reach out to us in the counseling department. Thank you.